Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to wire uh, the AEM 3-port boost solenoid so you can use your boost by gear by Hondata. Um, right now you're seeing the boost solenoid and I basically changed the connectors that come with it. I basically put uh, the quick connects which are really really nice. Uh, these things are so easy to remove the um, the vacuum line that comes that comes with it. You basically just kind of push on this tab and they just come out and they're actually leak proofed which I really like so it just makes it a lot easier if you need to take things out or if you want to remove it for some what for whatever reason so uh, I'll be showing you guys how to install this today <clears throat> so I actually pick a, uh, a good location for it um, right here on the Civic EG where the power steering um, reservoir used to be um, there's a little metal bracket that's just kind of sticking up so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in there <clears throat> so it'll be like it'll be like this um, today since I don't have a, dr uh, a drill with me I'll be putting it in with zip ties and also because it's really really cold out here today uh, it's about 26 degrees so I'm trying to get this thing working as soon as possible so I can get this cartoon um, but once it gets warmer I'll definitely come back and then um, drill holes and probably paint the little bracket black and you know just make it nice and neat all right so basically just stretching out the cable the way I'm gonna be riding is actually from here I'm gonna pretty much follow this um, cruise control cable until I can reach the other side and then pass it through the firewall I'm gonna start uh, zip tying the cable as well since, since I'm going with it right now I might as well fasten the cable and make sure I got the correct length that way when I pull it through the firewall I know exactly how much cable I can use So as you guys see here, I don't know if you guys, if this will even focus correctly, but uh, here's a battery. So right next to a battery, there's a, a little uh, rubber grommet where all the cables basically are sticking out. I'm basically gonna just fish it right through the, right through there where I fish all my wires. And it comes, and that wire will be coming It'll be coming down here some, somewhere. I actually got a. Uh, oh, here it is. Here's a. Here's a, a cable that I have, so I can pull. But it basically just comes under here somewhere. You'll you'll feel when you put when you actually fish a cable through it. All right, guys. So once I I fish the cable through, it came through right here, and I basically routed it all the way here and right through this plastic right here. This is actually uh, the cable that uh, that's from the Boost by Gear solenoid. You, as you can see, a red and black. Uh, when you're wiring Boost uh, Boost by Gear solenoids, it doesn't really matter which side you grab for which pin. But in my case, uh, I basically use this uh, just a red one. 
the red cable and I connected it on pin A25. I basically just uh, uh, basically um, stripped down this wire and then solder it in there. And then for the other one, uh, you want to put it on pin A11. And um, in my case, in my car, I didn't really have uh, one of the small uh, pins in here. So I actually had to order one of those pins um, right from eBay. The pin basically looks like this one, but a bit smaller. I tried using this specific cable, but it was just way too big, so it didn't work. So yeah, once you once you get that pin, and uh, all you have to do is just pretty much grab a small screwdriver, um, push this thing down, and this thing will open, and that, that way you can take cables out or push them back in. And I basically just crimp that little metal connector to the cable right here and then push it right in and then close this thing up and after that it, it was pretty much it. I mean there's really no no science to wire in this uh, this boost solenoid or boost by gear solenoid and that's pretty much it guys. turbo splits into the bottom of the wastegate and it goes to port number one on the solenoid then top of the wastegate goes into port number two on the AM solenoid now I'm just gonna tie it and make sure it looks good and that's pretty much it guys we will 